Look at all these engineers. So many. Hey, so many. <laughs> Dude, that's so lit. <laughs> I'm also class of 2018. It's on my tassel. Nice, man. Yeah. That's crazy. You freaking animated the whole thing. There he is. Look at him. I'm getting ready to go. There he goes! Patrick Aaron Lyons. Oh, yeah. Alexandra Schroeder. <laughs> <laughs> Just graduated college! Woo! When do we do the hats? <laughs> I don't know, man. Oh, Just gotta lead it, Patrick. Gotta be the first guy. <laughs> we like, should toss we it. The opportunity. We like should toss it. We have you wanna to toss it? it? Yeah, let's toss it. Dude, I'll toss it if you toss it. All right. <laughs> toss it. Three, two, one. Woo! Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Didn't have time to change into uh, any normal graduation attire, so here I am graduating in a tank top. Let's go. <laughs> I've never felt more underdressed in my life. Thousands of kids wearing what they were supposed to. And then me. How honored we are to have him here with us tonight, a UT distinguished alum back on the very campus where he started a company that would go on to change the world. Graduates and guests, please welcome Michael Dell. Because the rewards for you and the lives you change will be worth it. Congratulations and hook them horns. confer upon each of you your respective academic degrees. Congratulations, it's official, you're graduates of the University of Texas. Hello, Creekview class of 2014. Welcome to graduation. There are two things we all have in common. One, we were all diagnosed with moderate to severe senioritis months ago. And two, sorry English teachers, but we've all read Spark Notes instead of the real book. Many of you don't know me very well. So, hello, I'm Patrick Lyons, and I am by no means the smartest person in our graduating class. <laughs> Not even close. So, how did I come to be valedictorian? Well, the day I was born, I spoke my first word, valedictorian. <laughs> my future was set and my parents were terrified. <laughs> okay, well maybe that's not exactly what happened, but the true story is just about as ridiculous. 3,279 days ago, on June 15th, 2005, I saw the movie Batman Begins. After seeing that movie, I was going to become Batman. I'm being completely serious. Uh, Batman was really swole, so I, I wanted to be really swole. Uh, Batman was afraid of bats, so I pretended I was afraid of bats. Uh, Batman went to Princeton, so I vowed from that day forward to do just that. I also recruited my best friend at the time to be Nightwing alongside me, so thank you, Sam Lighting, for believing in that dream with me. Just to show you how well this plan turned out, Sam is going to A&M and I'm going to UT. Go figure. But why am I telling you this? Well, the answer is simple. 
It's the same reason that five hours ago, I woke up and completed day 90 of P90X3. Batman is the reason I am up here today, as ridiculous as that sounds. I let that dream push me forward in all aspects of my life, despite society's urges to live with a realistic mindset. As noted by Stanford student Hannah Tyson, as children, we don't possess logic until about age nine. So until then, we really are solely dreamers. But then we start thinking, maybe becoming Batman isn't a realistic goal. But see, I don't see there should be that demarcation of childhood. Just because we're graduating doesn't mean we won't do stupid things, or turn in work late, or fall in love with the wrong person. That's not high school. That's just human. Don't make your life about making a living. Make it about making a life. Become Batman. Become a doctor, an actor, a writer, a, a football player, an underwater basket weaver, a congressman. Okay, maybe not a congressman. You get the point. So, what's stopping us from pursuing our dreams? Well, we're up against the two greatest excuses in human history. I'm too young for that stuff, and I'm too old for that stuff. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, do not let those be your excuses. Tiger Woods, three years old when he first broke 50 for nine holes of golf. Paul McCartney, 15 years old when John Lennon invited him to join a band. Bill Gates, 19 years old when he co-founded Microsoft. And Joe DiMaggio was 26 years old when he hit safely for 56 consecutive games without steroids. It's impressive, isn't it? And you can bet not one of those people ever once said, oh, I'm too young for that stuff. Winston Churchill, 65 years old when he became Britain's prime minister and picked a fight with Hitler. Nelson Mandela, 71 years old when he was released from more than 20 years in South African prison. Four years later, at the age of 75, he's elected president of South Africa. Dimitrion Yordandis, 98 years old when he ran the Athens Marathon. Teichi Igarashi, 100 years old when he climbed Mount Fuji. Teichi Igarashi was 100 years old when he climbed Mount Fuji. Ladies and gentlemen, you are never too old to accomplish immeasurable feats. You're never too old to be a kid again. I mean, we all grow old. Well, except Mama Reese. She's been 21 since the day she stepped foot into Creekview. But for the rest of us, growing old isn't a choice. But growing up is. So, set goals with discipline and make your dreams a reality. That discipline comes when we leave distractions behind. We've become a generation of smartphones and dumb people. The media we call social is anything but. When we open our computers, it's our doors we shut. So take in all that you've made just by giving life attention. Be glad you didn't waste it by looking down at some invention. Now, I'd like to acknowledge a few people who have been instrumental in helping me achieve my goals. First and foremost, the Swiss Army backpack creators for helping me support my 34 pounds of supplies for four years. Secondly, my chiropractor for readjusting my spine after enduring 34 pounds. Okay, seriously, thank you to the countless teachers who have prepared me and everyone else for the world. Thank you, Robert Shepard, for helping me and so many others find our voices. Thank you, parents, for being our chauffeurs and supporting our dreams. And finally, thank you, class of 2014, for being the Creekview community that I have grown to love. It's going to be so hard saying goodbye to all of you, but I feel so blessed to have something that makes saying goodbye so difficult. In my speech and debate career, I've performed over 500 times, but this, this is the audience I've truly always wanted. Our class of 2014 has achieved and set some incredible goals. We've amassed numerous state titles from mock trial to wrestling, fine arts and speech and debate, 2D and 3D design, and playoffs in every sport we have. But my challenge to you is this. Do not let high school be the best four years of your life. If tax and AP testing were the best four years of your life, you've done something really wrong. <laughs> we owe it to our society to continue learning. Whether you're going to college, into the military, straight into the workforce, or to an early retirement in South Padre. Never stop learning and never stop dreaming. Everyone has a dream. Mine was to become Batman. Now it's to make a difference to improve others' quality of life. And now, it's your turn. In the spirit of mean girls, I wanna share a piece of this speech with all of you. So let your voices be heard. Raise your right hand and repeat after me. 
I, Patrick Lyons. State your name. I, Patrick Lyons. Promise to pursue my dreams. I promise to leave distractions behind. I am not too young. I am not too old. It's not who I am underneath. It's what I do that defines who I really am. Thank you for an amazing four years, class of 2014. The class of We Made It!